Hi, it's Katrina Sawa here again with jumpstartyourbiznow.com. And I want to talk to you about the fourth secret to creating a smooth running, consistent money making business. And I've been doing this video series. There's eight secrets total, and you can watch the other ones on my YouTube, uh, the one through three, uh, or the upcoming ones, and subscribe while you're there. So the fourth secret to creating a consistent money-making business um, is implementing smart, consistent, yet ever-evolving marketing practices. I know it seems kind of like a no-brainer. Let me just talk a little bit more about what I mean by this and where I'm coming from. So 20 years ago when I started my business, uh, I was marketing in the local area because I didn't know that I could get clients all over the world and speak all over the world or uh, do conference calls and things like that. <clears throat> I was going to my local uh, chambers and networking and I'd uh, do some knocking on doors even because I wasn't afraid to cold call or talk to people that way. And um, I did a lot of good, really good follow up. So when I'd meet people, I'd have a follow up plan in place to follow up with them via email, phone and direct mail, mind you. Um, and so that was great. And it got me to a certain level in my business. And then someone introduced me to a group of people who were talking about online marketing and doing business all over the country and all over the world and doing it virtually on the phone, on teleclass lines. This was before Zoom and video. And so people were talking on the teleclass and they would do group teleclasses. And I was like, I had no idea that I could even do that. So then my, I evolved, I evolved what I was selling and how I was doing my business. And I was also evolving how I was reaching out to people. I would come on uh, group calls and I would uh, be interviewed on radio shows and podcasts and drive people to my website, which is when my website started making uh, more well, it started making more of an impact that I had to really have a good website at that point because I was sending people there. They were my first impression oftentimes was my website. And then from there, it's like evolving into then social media came out, right? Then social media came out and everybody was on it and everybody was doing it. And uh, it was easy because it was like, oh, I'm having this thing. And people would say, oh, great, I'll come. And you'd get hundreds of people attending your online social media videos, your lives, and even coming onto your website and clicking all over the place and buying stuff because it was so new and so exciting. And now that social media has been around for, oh, I don't know, 13 years or something like that, maybe more if you look at MySpace, uh, and now it's video conferencing and video events and virtual things and digital things and all kinds of apps and things on your phone and um, reels and stories and all that kind of stuff. And so we're evolving again, right? When you're in business long enough, all these trends will evolve. And it, it, if you're not evolving with the trends in your business, then you're gonna be stuck behind and staying stagnant in those revenues because you're not embracing the new technology, embracing new strategies. Now, I'm not suggesting that you do everything on the planet as a business owner, that is not a realistic solution. The thing though you want to think about is, are you more of, I was, I've been recently saying to people that you might want to pick a lane, pick a lane in your marketing. Yes, we can do all the things I just said, and then some publicity, speaking, networking, uh, cold calling, direct mail, phone calls, email marketing, uh, social media, posting ads and reels and videos, right? We can have YouTube, we can do things like this where we're giving content, we can have a blog, we can, uh, I mean, it, it's endless, right? There's so many things that you could do now to grow your business and get clients. But if you're a solopreneur or a small business owner with just a little team, it's really difficult to do all of it. So I suggest you pick a lane. I know this is like not necessarily the norm of what you would hear a marketing or a business person talking about, but picking a lane meaning I'm, <clears throat> I'm really good with speaking to people, talking on video, um, networking events and doing speaking presentations and uh, people relate to me that way. I'm very outgoing, I'm very personable and I love uh, having those conversations with people. 
the other side of the coin, the other lane would be someone who maybe wants to stay a little bit behind the scenes, maybe wants to do some video, but only showing one way, right? They don't necessarily want a lot of interaction coming back. So someone like that might really love social media presence and doing things online or with apps and online communities and things like that, where you're giving content, you're giving tips, you're doing a five day challenge, you're doing all these things online, but you're not necessarily teaching a class or, or interacting and, and doing spot coaching or, or giving a, a, you know, a presentation in front of a group. So in my mind, they're kind of two totally different lanes of personality of the business owner. Now, I still do some social media, don't get me wrong. I have a team though, who does a lot of the promotion and the, and the hey, I'm having a webinar kind of thing. And the, hey, this call's coming up, come to this. So a lot of the promotional posts and anything that's announcing something or book launches or things like that, uh, or even the regular quotes and things like that, those are kind of done by my team. Now I'm still in there. I'm the one going and engaging with people and um, doing deeper conversations with people by private message or in a group or something like that. And I do that every once in a while, but I'm not in there like for hours on a day. So I would rather spend my hours in a day. If I had two hours in a day to do marketing, which is probably a good amount of time. And I know that seems like a lot, but if you need more business, you might want to just do more marketing because you need to talk to more people. So if you're going to spend two hours a day, either on networking calls where you're either the speaker, you're being interviewed, or you're networking and saying you're commercial and then following up with people and scheduling phone calls and doing get to know you calls or sales calls. If you want to spend your time doing that, then, then pick that lane and just maybe spend 80% of your time over there and 20 in the other. If you're not such a fan over there, then I would spend 80% <clears throat> of your time over and behind the scenes. And then maybe 20% of the time, come out and showcase yourself, maybe hold a webinar or something every while well and again, or an event or something like that. Or, you know, do a couple podcasts if you don't like to be too visible and give a speech. Uh, but that's what I would maybe suggest looking at. And I know hopefully that takes a little relief woof, off your shoulders that you have to actually do it all. Um, what I love to also do is help people set up the systems so that you can actually get a lot more done and reach a lot more people without you physically touching every little thing that has to happen. And you can do that through a lot of technology these days, and it doesn't have to cost a lot of money. Okay, I'm all about the most affordable way possible to build your business and make more money. And I have all kinds of tricks and things to, uh, and tools that my techie team shares with me when I'm looking for stuff on how to do things easier, faster, and more, have more automation in your business. And you don't have to be the techie person, mind you. You can get somebody to set that up and then it runs without you. So you don't have to put your hands in all the different pockets, so to speak. So I would just remind you to be open to the evolution of you and your business and the marketing and the things that are coming out. Uh, and maybe perhaps pick a lane, put a little bit more time into some of the marketing things you're doing, and then really pick the ones that you love doing that are getting the biggest result. So that's what I would say about marketing uh, in general in a short video, right? I could teach you for three days and I do. Uh, you can get more information if you go to jumpstartyourbiznow.com forward slash free trainings. There's some free trainings there. Yeah, I also have an event page and you can check out what's coming up for events. And I would love to talk to you soon. Have a great day, everyone.